Hi, Linda Barron here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Tuesday and create a fold, and I am going to do a diagonal opening card using the Always In My Heart bundle. Now this bundle is part of a suite, and it is my featured suite this month for my customer appreciation tutorial that you can get free with a $30 order when you used my hostess code um, over in my online store at stampingwithlinda.com. So this card is not part of the tutorial, but a fun, beautiful card to use the product in the Love You Always uh, suite. So what I have already done is taken the Always In My Heart die and um, the foil of paper that comes in that suite and I have already cut the heart out. Now you can use this heart for another card um, but we're going to just go ahead and pull this out. This foil is absolutely beautiful. Um, we're just going to punch out the little pieces here. They come apart very easily. This die does have to be used with the um, larger stamp and cut in a boss machine. We can order both of our machines now, the mini and the large, and both machines make it very easy, as you can see, to pop out all those little pieces in the die. I remember our old machine, you had to run back and forth, back and forth. No more is the case uh, with the new Stampin' um, Cut and Emboss. And the new Mini is my new favorite thing. In fact, I have it right here on my table. It is kind of like my Snips and um, my Picatool. It is used a lot and nice and handy right on my stamp table. Now, it doesn't take up much room, so so it's perfect for a lot of dies, but this die is too big um, to run through there. I have though, with the mini, let me get rid of all my little pieces here. With the mini, I have also taken the long heart. Um, again, this is from um, the Always In My Heart uh, bundle. And the thing with that, um, this long die, I like to use those little hearts, so I used the adhesive sheet on the back. So I'm just going to set this over here. Always great to have your post-it notes when you run that through. But I'm going to just pop it out. You see how easy those hearts come out. And then what I have is just a little container that I put all those heart pieces in, but I'm going to be using some of them on my card. So we're going to punch out about five of them and put them here on our table, a little more than five, um, so that we can run that through. Now I took um, the long banner. Again, this is from the Always In My Heart banner, and I have that. This banner is really cool. You can put your ends this way, or you can put them on top this way, whichever you like. Now, we are going to go ahead and stamp that. One thing nice about the love you all, you're always in my heart, is that it is a photopolymer set. So even though the stamp is straight, I kind of curved it a little bit because I want it to follow that banner. Because it is a photopolymer, of course, you want to uh, place that on your uh, foam piercing mat. And I have my Rococo Rose ink pad, and we are going to ink. that verse and then just stamp it right down on that banner like so. Going to grab a couple of my small Stampin' Dimensions and I'm going to use them to pop up the ends of that banner.
So there you have, like so. I will go ahead and put a dimensional on each side. So when I get ready to put it on my card, it'll be ready um, to go. I want to put that right on that fold so that it kind of holds that down like so. So we're going to set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and put our card together. I have a piece of the Rococo Rose cardstock. This measures four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to find my trimmer which should be right here in my cluttered stamp room. I thought I was all set to roll. Let's see where I put it. It's probably staring right at me. Does that ever happen to you? I try to put it back in the same place every time, but I didn't do a very good job this time. Let me keep looking. Oh, here it is. Right in plain sight. Okay, so we've got our trimmer. What we are going to do is we are going to score, again, this is four and a quarter by 11. We are going to score it at five and a half, five and a half, and six and three quarter. So this is what we've got. That's our standard card. We have an inch on the side. And now what we're going to do is we are going to cut from the score line right here, we're at the inch, and go at a diagonal. So we have a diagonal opening card. So we're going to put the score line in our trimmer and then, let's see if I can move this up so you can see it better. So the, the score line is here and the edge of our pather is there. There, we've got that and that, and then we are going to cut like so. Going to put that trimmer aside. We're going to grab our Stampin' Steel Plus, and I'm going to run it right along that one inch score line. I have a piece of the specialty designer series paper that comes in that Love You Always suite. We are going to put that right on that inch score line. So our card opens like so. I then have a piece of the Love You Always foil. And we're going to add some adhesive, but I only want to add adhesive down here at this corner. Don't want to put too much adhesive on so that our card will open. So let's go in here and kind of eyeball that. Like so. We're now going to go in and grab that foil heart. I'm going to use those small dimensionals again and put them on that heart because of the size spacing in this die those smaller dimensionals work really well I had missed a couple pieces going to go in with my pick a tool and just pick off the backing of those dimensionals, sometimes those don't want to come off, but if you use your pick a tool, just go in and poke in them, they pop right off. Going to add that to my card like so. Going to go in and grab that banner. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take that pick a tool again and we're going to go up to those hearts. Remember, I used the self um, adhesive sheets when I ran that through my stamp and cut. So then it makes it very easy to apply those hearts. Again, with your pick a tool, just pick off the back. They are small hearts. So they're a little bit tedious, but they just add a lot to your card, I think. 
So, of course, this one wants to be stubborn. There we go. Another one down here. And you can add as many hearts as you want just to add a little flair to your card. So there you have a diagonal opening card using the Love You Always bundle. Again, go over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, and check out the beautiful tutorial I have on 11 different cards than this one um, that you can get free with a $30 order. And don't forget, it's celebration time. Time to spend $50 and get something else that's free. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.